Trend indicators can be some of the safest and easiest tools to use in trading. Rather than guessing exactly when the market will reverse, you are able to trade and follow the momentum. This is our top three trend-based indicators for entering and exiting the market. So this indicator is designed to be more fluid and less noisy compared to other trend-following approaches. When the radius trend turns blue, we are in an uptrend and should be looking to buy and take long positions. When the radius trend turns red guess what we should be looking to sell and take short positions this is all something that's super simple i'm sure you are all familiar with let's take a quick look at an example here we see the radius trend turns blue we enter our buy signal and voila the market rallies hopefully you will have noticed a dashed center line as part of the radius trend this is a carefully calculated area that the price could be likely to bounce off of so why is this useful? Here, we are in an uptrend, as denoted by the blue trend. But we want the best entry. So why not enter when the price calms down and revisits this dashed line? When the price comes down and touches this line, we enter a buy position. Then the price bounces and we have had the best entry possible. This is why the indicator is so powerful. It's trend following, yet gives powerful re-entry signals, giving you the best profits. Now, Let's take a look at another trend-based indicator that adds in some extra statistics and detailed probability into your analysis. The Bayesian trend indicator is a simple to use tool with signals and the probability a breakout has really occurred. This means that you can now know the probability and the likelihood that the trend has truly changed rather than blindly following a signal indicator and crossing your fingers. By analyzing all different moving averages and their performances, we can give unique one-of-a-kind insights into the market and price action. Now, when you first load this indicator, you will notice a few key components. Firstly, you will notice a dashboard in the top right telling you what is the likelihood we are in an uptrend. This is a very simple to read and interpret metric. You will also notice numbers above or below the candles. These represent the probability of the uptrend between 0 and 1. However, this is more advanced and simply for your reference if needed. More simply, on the chart there are triangles acting as signals for when an uptrend is more likely versus when a downtrend is more likely. These will automatically perform confluence analysis for you. On to our third and final indicator, let's take a look at a classic trend following method that has been spiced up to make it even more usable and accurate. Now, the linear regression oscillator is a real-time tool taking that core linear regression logic and making it 100% real time and therefore one of the most powerful tools out there for spotting reversals. Let's take a look. Here we see our main oscillator wave. In an uptrend, the wave is a light blue. In a downtrend, the wave is a dark blue. This is a very simple trend following feature. When the wave is showing an uptrend, it is normally best to take long positions using confluence from other indicators. When the wave is showing a downtrend, it is normally best to be looking for short positions in the market. Very, very classical. However, the most unique, powerful, and special parts of this oscillator are the large reversal diamonds. These diamonds will appear at the bottom or the top of a trend, suggesting it's time to exit a position. Smaller diamonds are also provided on crossing points where a new trend has been confirmed. These can be great guidelines for adding to positions. For example, here, we see a buy signal from the oscillator and therefore we could have taken a long position. As the oscillator crossed and produced a smaller diamond, we could have added to that exact same long. Diamonds will appear over the candles alongside invalidation levels. These invalidation levels, when crossed, suggest the oscillator's readings are no longer in play and they were areas in the market where previously the oscillator changed direction. Consider these like stop losses and take profits for your trades. Using trend following indicators in your trading, especially when they are unique and as powerful as these, can really give you an edge in the market. If you like this video and want to see more like this, don't forget to subscribe and also be sure to join our Discord server for updates on new releases.